In the microscopic world, there exist entities that blur the lines between living and non-living viruses. These infectious agents, far smaller than bacteria, cannot reproduce or carry out metabolic processes on their own. They are essentially inert particles outside of a host cell. Viruses are obligate intracellular parasites, meaning they require a host cell to replicate and spread. They hijack the cellular machinery of their host, turning them into virus-producing factories. This dependence on host cells is a key characteristic that sets viruses apart from truly living organisms. The discovery of viruses revolutionized our understanding of infectious diseases. From the common cold to more severe illnesses like AIDS and COVID-19, viruses have significantly impacted human health throughout history. Viruses, despite their simplicity, exhibit a remarkable diversity in structure. At their core, all viruses possess genetic material, either DNA or RNA, which carries the instructions for building new viruses. This genetic material is encased within a protein coat called a capsid. Some viruses have an additional outer layer called an envelope, derived from the host cell's membrane as the virus buds out. Enveloped viruses, such as influenza and HIV, use this membrane cloak to disguise themselves and gain entry into host cells. Non-enveloped viruses like the common cold virus and poliovirus lack this envelope. They rely on specific proteins on their capsid surface to bind to and infect host cells. The presence or absence of an envelope influences a virus's stability, mode of transmission, and how it interacts with the host's immune system. The virus life cycle, though varying in details between different types of viruses, follows a general five-step process attachment entry replication assembly and release one attachment the virus attaches to a specific host cell like a key fitting into a lock this specificity determines which cells and organisms a virus can infect Two, entry the virus enters the host cell either by fusing with the cell membrane in the case of enveloped viruses or being engulfed by the cell in the case of non-enveloped viruses three replication once inside, the virus hijacks the host cell's machinery to replicate its genetic material and produce viral proteins. The host cell, now under the virus's control, churns out multiple copies of the viral genome and proteins. For assembly, the newly synthesized viral components self-assemble into new virus particles. This process can occur in the cytoplasm or nucleus of the host cell, depending on the type of virus. Five, release. Finally, the newly assembled viruses are released from the host cell, often killing the cell in the process. These new viruses can then go on to infect other cells, continuing the cycle of infection. Viroids, even smaller and simpler than viruses, consist solely of a short strand of circular RNA without any protein coat. These naked RNA molecules are the smallest known infectious agents. Despite their minimalist structure, viroids can cause significant damage to plants. They interfere with the plant's cellular machinery, disrupting growth and development. Viroids primarily infect plants, and their transmission often occurs through mechanical means, such as contaminated tools or insects. Unlike viruses, which use their genetic material to code for proteins, viroids do not appear to code for any proteins. Their mechanism of pathogenesis remains somewhat of a mystery. Section 5. An example of viroid infection stunting growth. One example of a viroid infection is potato spindle tuber viroid, or PSTVD, which infects potato plants. PSTVD causes the potato tubers to become elongated and misshapen, significantly reducing crop yield. The viroid infects the plant through wounds and spreads systematically, affecting the entire plant. PSTVD illustrates the significant economic impact viroids can have on agriculture. Control measures for viroid infections often involve using viroid-free planting material and implementing strict sanitation practices to prevent the spread of these infectious agents. Section 6 Prions – Rogue Proteins Wreaking Havoc Prions, the most enigmatic of the three infectious agents, are misfolded proteins that can trigger normal proteins in the brain to misfold as well. They are devoid of any genetic material challenging the traditional understanding of infectious agents. These misfolded proteins clump together, forming aggregates that disrupt normal brain function, leading to neurodegenerative diseases. 
Prion diseases are characterized by spongy form changes in the brain, giving it a sponge-like appearance under a microscope. Prion diseases are unique in that they can be sporadic, inherited or acquired through infection. This transmission can occur through contaminated surgical instruments, blood transfusions or the consumption of infected meat. Section 7. Prion diseases are degenerative threat. Prion diseases are rare but invariably fatal. One well-known example is bovine spongiform encephalopathy, commonly known as mad cow disease. This prion disease devastated cattle populations in the United Kingdom in the 1980s and 1990s. In humans, prion diseases can manifest as Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, fatal familial insomnia or Kuru. These diseases cause a range of neurological symptoms, including dementia, loss of coordination, and ultimately death. There is no cure for prion diseases, and treatment options are limited to managing symptoms. The unique nature of prions being misfolded proteins rather than traditional pathogens makes them difficult to target with drugs or vaccines. Section 8. Comparing the intruders' viruses, viroids, and prions. Viruses, viroids and prions, while all classified as infectious agents, differ significantly in their structure, replication mechanisms and the diseases they cause. Viruses have genetic material, either DNA or RNA, enclosed in a protein coat called a capsid and they may even have an envelope. Viroids consist of single-stranded circular RNA without a protein coat. Prions, on the other hand, are simply misfolded proteins. When it comes to replication, viruses utilize the host cell machinery to replicate. The replication mechanism of viroids is not fully understood. Prions convert normal proteins into the misfolded prion form. Viruses cause a wide range of diseases in humans, animals, and plants. Viroids primarily cause plant diseases. Prions are known for causing neurodegenerative diseases in animals and humans. Understanding these differences is crucial for developing effective strategies to combat the diseases they cause. Section 9. The impact of viruses, viroids and prions. Viruses, viroids and prions, despite their microscopic size, have had a profound impact on human history, agriculture and ecosystems worldwide. Viral diseases such as smallpox, influenza and HIV AIDS have shaped human societies and continue to pose significant public health challenges. Viroids cause significant economic losses in agriculture by reducing crop yields and quality. Prion diseases, though rare, highlight the vulnerability of the brain to misfolded proteins. The ongoing battle against these infectious agents underscores the importance of research, surveillance and public health measures to mitigate their impact. Section 10 3D Animation Bringing the Microscopic World to Life 3D animation has revolutionized science education, providing students with an unprecedented view into the microscopic world of viruses, viroids and prions. These animations bring these abstract concepts to life, allowing students to visualize their structure, replication cycles and interactions with host cells. For example, a 3D animation can illustrate the intricate process of a virus attaching to a host cell, injecting its genetic material and hijacking the cell's machinery to produce new viruses. Similarly, animations can show the misfolding of a normal prion protein and its subsequent aggregation, leading to brain damage. These visualizations enhance understanding, improve knowledge retention and make learning about these complex biological entities more engaging and accessible for students. Section 11. Conclusion, the ongoing battle. Viruses, viroids and prions, though vastly different in their structure and mechanisms of action, share the ability to cause significant disease and impact life on Earth. These infectious agents highlight the constant interplay between hosts and pathogens and the ongoing battle to maintain health in a world teeming with microscopic threats. Understanding the unique characteristics of each of these agents is crucial for developing effective strategies to diagnose, treat and prevent the diseases they cause. As technology advances, we continue to gain a deeper understanding of these fascinating and often formidable entities, paving the way for new and innovative approaches to safeguarding human, animal and plant health in the future.